Hello and welcome to the 11 o'clock news from Bahrain International. I am Hamad Youssef. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa held an iftar banquet today at Rawda Palace on the occasion of the holy month of Ramadan and it was attended by His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa also present were royal family members who expressed good wishes to His Majesty the King on the occasion of the holy month and wished His Majesty abundant health and happiness and many happy returns for the kingdom and its people His Majesty the King expressed thanks and appreciation for their sincere feelings and also congratulated the kingdom on the occasion. He wished the kingdom, the Arab and Islamic nations many happy returns.
His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa congratulated Bahraini citizens and residents on the beginning of the holy month of Ramadan through a message sent to their mobile phones. His Majesty the King said in his message, Ramadan Mubarak, wishing you and our beloved homeland happiness and blessings during this holy month of Ramadan. Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, the King of Bahrain. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa held a telephone calls with His Majesty the King of Jordan, Abdullah II ibn Al Hussein as well as the Grand Imam of Al-Azhar al-Sharif, Dr. Ahmed al-Tayyib. His Majesty the King exchanged good wishes on the occasion of the holy month of Ramadan, wishing Bahrain and the two friendly countries, as well as the Arab and Islamic nations, many happy returns. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, held phone call with the Emir of Kuwait, His Highness Sheikh Sabah Al Ahmed Al Jabbar Al Sabah, and exchanged good wishes on the advent of the holy month of Ramadan. His Royal Highness also held similar phone calls with Kuwaiti Crown Prince Sheikh Nawaf Al Ahmed Al Jabbar Al Sabah and Prime Minister Sheikh Jabbar Al Mubarak Al Sabah. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, chaired today the weekly cabinet meeting at Qadaybiya Palace. The Cabinet Secretary General, Dr. Yasser al-Nasser, issued the following statements. The Cabinet congratulated His Majesty the King, His Royal Highness the Prime Minister and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, as well as the people of Bahrain and the Arab and Islamic nations on the advent of the holy month of Ramadan, wishing them many happy returns. The meeting hailed the result of the official visit of His Majesty the King to France and His Majesty's meeting with the French President Emmanuel Macron and praised the cooperation agreements and MOU signed between the two sides to reinforce bilateral strategic relations. The cabinet commended the efforts of His Majesty the King in consolidating Bahrain's external relations and his keenness to coordinate and cooperate with all international and regional parties to strengthen security, peace and stability in the region and the world. It also praised the signed agreements in the official and commercial sectors which open new fields of cooperation, strengthen the bilateral trade and enhance the national economy. On the occasion of Bahrain Press Day, which falls on May the 7th, His Royal Highness the Prime Minister hailed the role and efforts of the national press and media figures in reinforcing the National Action March and their contributions in enlightening public opinion and conveying information accurately. His Royal Highness affirmed that ensuring the freedom of the media is the government's priority for its belief in the noble message of the press and its role in developing the country and supporting national unity. The cabinet approved eight decisions that support small businesses and achieved the recommendations of the joint study submitted by the Bahrain Chamber of Commerce and Industry and the Ministry of Industry, Commerce and Tourism, in which the Deputy Prime Minister, His Highness Sheikh Ali bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, was appointed to follow up on. His Royal Highness ordered to list the arrears of small businesses and implement an easy installment scheme for up to 24 months and ordered the government bodies to meet the payment deadlines of the private sector according to the nature of work and to the approved agreement. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister directed the Ministry of Industry to allocate spaces for industrial activities of small and micro enterprises and to change the mechanism of listing violations. He also directed the Ministry of Labor and Social Development to speed up the preparation of a study on the labor market and its impact on the commercial sector and submit the final results. His Royal Highness then directed the Ministry of Works, Municipalities, Affairs and Urban Planning to establish a joint working team with the Ministry of Industry, the Ministry of Labor, the LMRA and BCCI to identify identify the problems and challenges facing the commercial sector. He appointed the Central Bank of Bahrain to coordinate with the Bahrain Bank Association to offer more credit facilities to small and medium enterprises. His Royal Highness directed the Ministry of Works to submit a report on young shrimp fishermen and the Ministry of Justice and Islamic Affairs and Endowments to submit a report on the places of worship for which electricity and water charges are collected and the mechanism followed in coordination with the Ministry of Electricity and Water Affairs. His Royal Highness was then briefed on the latest developments in the implementation of the Health Center project in Khalifa City and assigned the Ministry of Forks to start implementing it.
The cabinet approved the recommendation of the Civil Service Bureau, led by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, on listing 13 authorities non affiliated with the CSP in the Voluntary Retirement Program. Registration for the program will be in June 2019 with the same features and conditions applied in the previous government program. The cabinet approved the recommendation of the CSB on the organizational structure of the office of the Depu first deputy prime minister where it approved reducing the current structure by cancelling the position of the general coordinator of projects and strategic planning with the rank of assistant undersecretary and cancelling the projects and strategic planning departments. The cabinet followed up on the results of the inspection campaigns and tours and markets to verify and ensure that prices are not manipulated by exploiting value added tax. The cabinet also approved an MRU on the uses of outer space for peaceful purposes between the National Space Agency of Bahrain and the UK Space Agency to develop a framework for cooperation activities and review areas of common interest in civil space aspects. The cabinet then approved adding a new commercial activity on extracting oil and gas in Bahrain. The government's response on a proposal allowing citizens listed on the voluntary retirement list to withdraw has been approved. The National Bureau for Revenue held an interactive VAT workshop for professionals working in the retail and wholesale sectors, during which the NBR recapped general and sector-specific VAT concepts, including invoicing and filing. Following a question and answer session, 59 representatives from 38 vendors were given the opportunity to visit the unique interactive demo center that provides innovative learning experiences to ensure effective implementation of VAT. Today's workshop is a continuation of the series of workshops organized by the NBR to provide an inclusive platform for all stakeholders from public and private sectors to ensure the smooth registration of companies with an annual supply of 500,000 to 5 million Bahraini dinars by June. Retail stores and supermarkets all over the kingdom, which are humming with shoppers fulfilling their needs for the holy month of Ramadan, cater for different tastes and hold special Ramadan promotions. More on this report with Habab Abdul Ghaffar. Bahrain's retail stores and supermarkets that hum with life as the advent of the blessed month of Ramadan approaches gear up to welcome the holy month of fasting, offering shoppers exclusive promotions and offers. It's certainly the shopping season. The variety is really good here and the stalls, everything is very fine. I mean, the things uh, like from vegetables to the fruits, everything is fresh and the variety is so, so many varieties. We can find so many varieties in the fruits and in the vegetables and the meat. You can go for the meat and the beef. Everything is available readily. Even in the juices, everything means readily available. Right now we are here for the preparation of the Ramadan and we find everything uh, from grocery uh, from vegetable, fruits and meats, everything. And the price is very good here. Very good prices, very good quality. Many varieties of product from anything, local and outside. I am happy now, I found tomatoes produced in Bahrain, cucumber in Bahrain. Everything in Bahrain now very good. I prefer to buy tomatoes Bahraini more than another one. Retail stores around the kingdom outline plans to hold Ramadan promotions and substantial reductions on food products and other goods ensuring the availability of sufficient stocks of food products to cater to potential soaring demand during the holy month of Ramadan. Ramadan offer going on and I came here for the shopping and I was looking through many products having discounts and sale so I'm just buying stuff that I need the Ramadan and preparing myself. The quality is really like uh, you can get good stuff here. Actually, you have very good stuff here. They have many uh, lists of uh, products here. You can go from international brands to local Gulf brands. Even uh, Bahrain has its own brand now. So they have many good stuff here. Food quality is very good and packages are good. Very good. I'm here because it's Ramadan. Special Ramadan products were also not forgotten. With large amounts of food items being purchased, retail stores around the kingdom made sure to spare no efforts to create a unique shopping experience for shoppers aiming to give customers maximum benefit, offering a number of special and exclusive benefits throughout the month-long duration, building upon the seasonal festivity of the Holy Month. Supermarkets are very busy. People are preparing for the holy month. There is a great variety and wide variety of products, very good quality and very fresh vegetables and, of course, amazing discounts. Reporting for Bahrain International, I'm Heba Abdul Ghaffar.